Hello dear traders, welcome to InstaForex TV channel with me Kate Stichina. On Monday the meeting of the OPEC Plus Joint Ministerial Monitoring Committee started in Wien. The prolongation of the current output cuts deal was on the agenda. At the end of the first day of the meeting all the participants agreed to extend the deal by nine months until March next year. Today the countries are due to ratify this agreement, such as decision was widely expected by market participants. As Russia President Vladimir Putin said on Saturday that Russia and Saudi Arabia approved the prolongation. Besides, the cartel adopted the draft charter of unlimited cooperation with the non-OPEC countries. This document can confirm the formal status of OPEC Plus as an organization aiming to balance the conditions on the global oil market through joint auctions. Yesterday, the volatility in the oil market increased significantly ahead of the OPEC Plus meeting. In early deals, Brent futures advanced by over 2.5%, but at the end of the day, the credits retreated significantly to $65 per barrel. If the positive sentiment persists, then Brent prices may extend gains towards $67-$68 per barrel. The spread between Brent and WTI benchmarks hit the lowest level since August last year. Today in the morning it was $6. WTI prices stayed at the levels that were seen earlier this week, near $59 per barrel. Traders are waiting for the year's inventories data that can show another decline. At the beginning of this week, the Russian ruble advanced to meet the results of the G20 summit. Leaders of the United States and China agreed to resume the trade negotiations. This year's provided support to risk key assets, including the Russian ruble. However, today the ruble came off highs in early deals. The dollar-ruble pair increased to 63.30. Probably the pair will continue rising as long as oil prices remain under pressure. Besides, the Russian currency is weakening as non-residents are selling their ruble-denominated dividends from Russian companies. We keep close tabs on the market developments. Stay tuned.